Hello everybody, this is Poke Gent here back again, and we are opening up some more Darkness Ablaze booster packs. Um, I'm still trying to find uh, a Butterfree out of these packs, or maybe even a Crobat would be nice. Uh, still have they still have eluded me so far, Skitty Rowlet, but they're still um, cards nevertheless. Oh, did I mess that up? I got a copper jaw for the hollow. I didn't even do my card trick right. Ooh. Ooh. But, you know, that's okay. These cards need a level two. Put him off to the side. Put this over. Trying to open these packs. I think I got about 11 or 12 of these. Um, of these Darkness of Blaze packs I'm going to be opening for y'all. So I put that over. One, two, three, four. Put that to the side. Bam, bam, Turbo Patch, Star Trek. So hopefully I can pull something amazing. This is probably one of my favorite Taurus cards. I just gotta say that right now. Um, they really did um, some work on that Taurus card. Got a Mr. Rhyme. And oh, we got a, a Rainbow Rare Rose. I don't think I've had this card yet. Um, pretty awesome looking card nonetheless. It looks pretty sick, I love it. Uh, really good pull, um, pretty much almost right off the back. Let me put him neatly into this, and let's throw him over here so he can shine right next to my Lick the Buzz. I think this Lick the Buzz is get uh, <laughs> a Lick the Buzz card is um, lucky because you know I've had him out for maybe two episodes now, and he has got me pulls I was not expecting, and <laughs> definitely pulls that are very much appreciative. So. Um, I think Electabuzz is doing some work for me and getting me some of these good cards. A Vanillite, a Gosselina, we got a Nicket, we got a Shelmet, we got a Lavatar, a Loontone looking at the moon. Um, Mr. Rhyme, I guess for the rare. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, not a Butterfree, obviously, but you know, you can only get what you can get from these packs and that is the fun in opening said packs. I'm gonna put him down. One, two, three, four. Put him to the side. We got an energy card. We got a cape of toughness being cool. Power energy. Soul rock matching that lunatone earlier. Carablast. Melton. Uh, Marinine. We got a purloin. A starly. A Pokemon breeder. A pretty nice card. And then uh, Des I can't even say that name. Desudai. Uh, Desudai. Desudai. I don't even know. But I haven't seen this card. I have not pulled him yet. So pretty awesome find. Gonna put him off to the side right there. Open this pack up next. Get to the nitty gritty, as one may say. Put that down to the side. See if we can pull um, the cards that we are looking for. Which are obviously another Charizard VMAX. Not ever gonna play, complain if I pull another one. But um, still want to get something amazing like uh, Butterfree. Butterfree or maybe the Rainbow Rare Scizor. Uh, two cards that I would look forward to or even some of the Gold Series cards. Jeez, I am having trouble opening this pack. Someone call me some help. Bam, bam, bam. Pull cards off to the side. What do we got here? I think I already saw that I did not get a good card, unfortunately, but we'll keep going through it nonetheless. Flappy, Panpour, Teddy Ursa, Rookadee, Torchic, uh, Trapinch, uh, Reverse Hollow, Poltergeist, and then our Accelerator. Put him off to the side, too. Got a few more of these packs to go. Bam, bam, bam. Put him off to the side. Put him, one, two, three, four. Kind of energy card, big pair. So I think they have this one in the golden rare, um, which obviously would be a good find. I would definitely love to kind of start a golden rare collection. Um, I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, Darmatian for the rare. Um, so far, nothing too amazing for the packs. Um, you know, well, I can't complain. I got that rose, which was a pretty nice card. Um, not the card I was definitely looking for, but you know, you never get what you want, but you always get what you need. And I guess I needed a rose card for my collection. Bam, Dedene, we got a Bird Keeper, we got a Centric, oh, 
uh, Larvista, uh, Morlo, Toxel, Skitty, Hippopotamus, and ooh, an Agron. That is sweet. I think I've already maybe pulled one of them, or was it the Tranitar? I think I pulled a Tranitar. I don't think I pulled an Agron quite yet. Um, so that is a pretty nice card that's going to be added to the collection. Put him right over there. I'm looking all cool next to Rose. And let's see if I can work some pack magic. Where's my Electabuzz at? Electabuzz, it's time. It's time for you to do your thing. Make this pack a great pack. And with that, it has been said, and so it shall be done. And I believe in Electabuzz. Uh, Zilius, Puppetar, Pokemon Breeder, uh -oh. Paris. A Lavatar, we got a Golet, we got a Feebas, we got a Purloin, we got a Passaminian, and we got, oh look at that, B-Max Salamence. I've already pulled one of these on my very first vlog, but still, I do not mind having another one. And, you know, not the, not the, not the card I want still to pull, but you know, it never hurts to have it. Um, definitely don't mind pulling a Salamence out of these booster packs. Especially, I guess, the VMAX version. But still, on the search for that Butterfree or an equivalent card of that nature, maybe a Crobat, since I have not opened the Crobat out of, I believe, like 40 something packs, more than 40, like 80 packs of these um, uh, Darkness of Blaze packs. And I have not to, have yet to pull the Crobat, unfortunately. Duramaka, Lavatar, Nicket. Ooh, this is awesome. Reverse Hall Tauros. Uh, like I said, I love the Tauros card, so this is even more amazing. Uh, Hydro <laughs> Hydreigon, not too bad. Not really holographic, but that is okay. Nonetheless, two packs left in this series. And we can open these up with care, because, you know, card you want to be behind there. Um, I'm thinking Electabuzz is going to show me a little love one more time out of these two packs. I don't know if it's going to be this one. Um, comment down below if you think it will be. Bef um, before you finish watching this next part, comment if you think um, Electabuzz is going to bless one of these packs <laughs> and show me some love. Um, I believe he will. He never disappoints. Um, Punchinchin. I can't even say that. Pinchurchin. Um, not bad, holographic. So, was this a blessing? Was this the blessing out of this last two packs? You know, um, like I said, never hurts to pull a holographic, that's for sure. Um, so, let me put him over here. So, you know, he might have blessed that pack. So, he did what I asked him to do, and um, he did his magic. So, if this one doesn't come out exactly what I want, you know, I still believe in the luck of the luck of us. But if this does prove to be something amazing, then that like the buzz will be on this channel every day. Because, <laughs> you know, you got to hold on to the things you think that are lucky. And, you know, I personally think that like the buzz is lucky. Um, he got me some pretty good pulls so far. Uh, for it, which I don't think I've seen yet. Um, pretty cool looking. He's just kind of wrapped around the tree, kind of looking off in the distance. Not too shabby. Ducklet, Mareep, Paris. Gothalia, Skarmory, Reverse Hollow Scavalier, and not a VMAX, but ooh, another holographic Melotic. That is awesome. Um, he, yeah, he blessed both packs. I asked him to bless one pack, and he blessed both of these packs. Uh, Electabuzz, you are the real MVP of this episode, and maybe the last episode as well. Um, you're gonna stay right here. You know, you definitely did your work. You did more work than me, and let's just say that. You, you got me all these awesome pulls out of these packs. Um, like I said, these are the pulls for these packs, and no, it was not like the buzz, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna stay on the channel for a while. Uh, obviously, did some work for me today. Uh, got this holographic Agron, which is pretty sweet, and got this Rose. We got a uh, Deside. Uh, Pinchurchin, uh, Salamence, VMAX, which is pretty awesome, and even the Melotic holographic. Um, definitely awesome artwork. You can kind of see the splash of the tail, kind of like him like doing like maybe like a tail slap or, or something like that through the water. 
Um, definitely pretty cool. I do love that card. It does look nice in holographic form. And I probably didn't go much over the rose card. I'm sorry. But yeah, the rose card obviously looking sweet. Um, I do love these rainbow red cards. They just have that nice looking texture to them. Um, definitely um, one of my favorites for sure. But I think that is it for today's episode. Uh, like again, I want to thank y'all guys for watching and pretty much supporting the channel. I really do appreciate all of y'all. Um, and like I said, if there's anything I can do, like if there's any packs that I can try to get for y'all and try to open, I will try my best to. And I just um, look forward for great things from this channel. I want to keep pulling amazing cards for y'all. And hopefully I can continue that. That's that's really what I want to do. This this is something um, that's really not a hobby to me. It's something I really enjoy. <laughs> or maybe it is a hobby, but it's a hobby I really do enjoy a lot to do for y'all. And I just want to say thank y'all very much for the support. Um, leave a like, subscribe if that's what you want to do. And have a good day. And like always, keep on collecting.